Thank you, Ilaria. Ah, scusate, sorry. So, uh, today I tell you a briefly introduction on uh, concerning uh, landslide triggered by rainfall. Then uh, I show you the LAMP landslide monitoring and predictive system developed by the University of Genoa and the sensor network. And uh, uh, I show you where this sensor network is um, installed. Uh, I continue with the automatic procedure in uh, developing in Python and implementing the QGIS for the study of the soil behavior and the sat uh, sat unsaturated part um, uh, condition and uh, the application of this procedure to a case study, some results uh, and uh, the conclusion. <coughs> So, as uh, described in the ISPRA report uh, updated in 2018 concerning landslide floods in Italy, um, approximately the 8% of the Italian territory is subjected to landslide, where often the most uh, triggering factor is rainfall. In fact, Rainfall can perform an erosive action at the ground level and by seepage it can increase the soil degree of saturation and feed the groundwater table, leading fluctuation that can um, Aff affect the landslide, the slope stability, and the importance to study uh, shallow, shallow landslide uh, triggered by rainfall uh, was alight uh, once again by the uh, hurt and debris uh, slide uh, that affected the Alpine territory uh, in the um, on the cross border between Liguria, Piedmont, and the French Riviera during the Alex storm event in the uh, October 2020. In this uh, context, the University of uh, Genoa, in particular the group of geotechnic and geomatic of the, our university, uh, designed and developed the uh, LAMP system that is composed by an integrated hydrological geotechnical model developed in grass GIS that you can see in the middle of this box, box that uh, feed by a sensor network uh, provide landslide suscetibility maps. And the focus of this presentation is uh, the sensor network that is composed by low-cost self-powered soil water content sensor to monitor the local hydrological soil condition. The monitoring network is composed by capacitive sensor installed at uh, four different depth, uh, minus 10, minus 35, minus, minus uh, 55, and minus 85 centimeter from the ground level. And uh, they have been chosen because they are relative uh, inexpensive. They provide a response in near real time. They uh, require low maintenance and they are easily replaceable and they are also easily integrable into, into a self-sufficient monitoring network, remotely manageable and easily relocatable. Other devices uh, composing the um, network are the sensor pups that have uh, the dual purpose to uh, power the uh, capacitive sensor and uh, recorded the, the soil moisture data. Then we have the retriever that have uh, th that is uh, necess uh, necessary to uh, storage the, the data and finally the modem to transmit uh, via web the, the data to the web interface uh, and the um, Power supply, the, the electric power supply is guaranteed by the solar panel of 50 vo uh, watt. Uh, but uh, what uh, really is uh, recorded by this uh, sensor network uh, is not the volumetric water content, but uh, uh, raw data, here called v in, v out, sorry, that uh, required to be normalized to the input voltage, the voltage of uh, the sensor pops. So, uh, to uh, arrive to a volumetric water content value, we some uh, calibration law are required. 
and uh, as you can see in orange uh, the factory give uh, some uh, calibration low but uh, sometimes uh, these are not able to uh, describe uh, all type of the of the soil that we, you can uh, find uh, on, on site. For this reason, the University of Genoa uh, developed a laboratory procedure to uh, perform soil specific calibration, as you can see in, uh, gray, in, in gray. And uh, actually, we have uh, five uh, monitored sites, uh, four of these are located in Italia, in the province of Imperia, Mendatica, Ville San Pietro, Monesi di Triora e Ceriana Maenardo, while uh, the Vance is uh, located in the French Riviera. And, uh, sorry, they are, uh, they, this network uh, were installed in the frame of an Alcotra Interreg uh, um, Italy-French cooperation program called uh, Adad Vitam project. But uh, why is it important to measure the, the measurement of soil water content? Well, because uh, allow us to study the uh, soil behavior under partial saturated condition. So the uh, soil water content measurement in continuous at various depth node and at various depth allow us to perform uh, more precise hydrological balance, uh, to perform also geotechnical slope stability analysis under, salt, uh, under partial saturated condition and uh, uh, provide an help in the emergency management. For this reason, uh, the Geomatic uh, Technic Group of uh, our university developed an automatic procedure in QGIS for the assessment of the soil shear strength uh, induced by partial saturation con soil condition, uh, implemented in QGIS and developed uh, by a Python script. Uh, that uh, hello the assess of the apparent cohesion and uh, um, knowing the uh, soil moisture value that uh, required a normalization on the input voltage, uh, voltage and a soil specific calib laboratory calibration. To uh, estimate the apparent cohesion we also need a, wa first a water retention curve. Uh, by adopting uh, an empirical method proposed by Balzano et al. that also allow the, to estimate the suction value. Then, uh, by applying the strength criterion proposed by Fredlund and then modified by Vanapalli, we can uh, um, estimate the apparent cohesion. For brevity, uh, I don't show you all the equations uh, involved in the, in, the, in the procedure, but uh, you can uh, find it in the papers. And uh, I also want to underline that uh, this procedure is uh, an open source procedure. And this is uh, at this link, you can find the script and uh, try to implement it in QGIS. This is the QGIS plugin interface of uh, our procedure. Uh, so, at uh, <coughs> the, the, um, where the, the users can give the, the input data. So, chosen a rainfall event of interest, uh, you can uh, download the, the data uh, of uh, soil moisture or uh, that can be uh, calibrated or uh, not calibrated or just calibrated and uh, you can also give it them in a punctual format or in a rastered format. If the value are not uh, calibrated, you can give the value of, into, of input voltage on which normalize them and also the parameters for uh, the calibration. For uh, while for the um, definition of the soil water uh, retention curve, uh, you need the intrinsic soil um, 
properties, uh, such as the specific gravity of the soil grain, the percentage of carbon content, sand, clay, and uh, the friction angle. And then, uh, last but not least, the uh, Tita Max, that is the uh, maximum volumetric water content uh, taken to, uh, on the um, on-site registration or uh, on uh, over, uh, all, uh, overall the period of the measurement. And the main output of uh, our uh, procedures are the solar water retention curve, the suction and the apparent cohesion that can give uh, as uh, in a raster format or in a shape file with a um, DB table. We applied the procedure to the Ceriana Mainardo site that is located in the west part of Liguria. Uh, on the left, you can see the sensor network uh, with five nodes and the retriever. And it is worth to underline that to have a, sta uh, a stable communication between uh, this device, uh, they uh, required a high visibility between, uh, between them. On the right, uh, you can see the um, retriever and the um, modem installed on a roof top, uh, top and uh, a, uh, the, C, uh, the C5 uh, measurement node uh, completely installed. How you can see the and manage, uh, visualize and manage the, the data. Uh, you can visualize them uh, along the vertical, so uh, with uh, a, um, a value for each investigated depth, or in response to uh, a rainfall, as you can see in, the, in this uh, diagram. Well, for the application of the automatic procedure to the Ceriana Marinardo site, we choose as a meteorological event of interest the Ale storm um, that occurred in the first day of uh, October 2020, uh, and where the rain gauge recorded approximately 250 millimeters. And uh, we take into account also some day before uh, to uh, take into account also the uh, a significant rainfall of 50 of, of 52 millimeters, and we choose as a time step for the analysis 24 hours. On the route, right, you can see the. Um, the input data given to the procedures. So for the definition of the soil water retention curve, the intrinsic soil properties defined uh, um, thanks to uh, laboratory tests on soil sample and uh, the volumetric water content. Uh, for the the the, the estimate the estimate uh, to, for to estimate the sanction, we uh, work on uh, raw data of soil moisture. So, uh, a input voltage value was required to to normalize the data and the uh, parameter calibration to perform a linear uh, calibration. The uh, main outputs are the time histories of uh, apparent cohesion, as you can see in this diagram, where uh, for each day of the um, analyzed uh, rainfall uh, event, you can observe the um, variation of the apparent cohesion value. Uh, is, uh, here they are uh, multiplied by 10 for a better visualization, and uh, you can appreciate the variation of these uh, terms according to the variation of of the uh, water, uh, volumetric water content uh, here in orange. Uh, in the bottom part of the, the slide, you can see the uh, apparent cohesion surfaces obtained by applying in the procedure uh, a, um, the Delony triangulation technique 
and uh, uh, we uh, show you um, three different day, uh, three different map um, pertinent to different uh, three days of the, the event in the at the beginning, in the middle, at the end of the event, and also here you can appreciate the uh, variation of the apparent cohesion um, in response to uh, the rainfall. Then we also uh, perform some preliminary shallow landslide associability analysis by the IEG model. And these analyses are based, in, uh, based on the definition of the safety factor, of the slope safety factor, that is defined as the ratio between the um, resistant forces on the uh, driving forces and is, uh, this in the index um, allows to um, give an idea uh, if the uh, slope is uh, stable or unstable. So if this, uh, fast effect, uh, this uh, factor is uh, bigger than one, we have uh, a uh, stable uh, slope. Otherwise, if, if it is uh, less than one, we have an unstable uh, um, slope. And uh, these analyses uh, um, are uh, done uh, take into account uh, the uh, shear strength contribution provided by the effective uh, apparent cohesion value. And so for each day, we have a different uh, map. So we have uh, the dynam dynamic maps. We also perform the same, uh, um, the same analysis uh, the, uh, without taking into account the apparent cohesion value. And uh, in this way, we obtain uh, uh, only one map, so a static map. And uh, by the comparison of uh, this uh, map, dynamic and static uh, map, we can uh, see that uh, if uh, both, um, although in the, the, the slope result be uh, stable in both analysis, uh, working on uh, with uh, um, dynamic uh, map allow uh, to uh, have uh, uh, near real time uh, uh, photography of uh, stability condition of slope stability condition that can be uh, crucial in the emergency management. To, to conclude, we uh, perform some uh, preliminary analysis of uh, slope stability condition and the results uh, are uh, consistent. Uh, we can use the described procedure or its output uh, for in uh, several landslide model taking in uh, taking advantage advantages of the soil moisture measurement to improve the evaluation of the slope stability condition over time we uh, have applied this uh, procedure to uh, natural slope but you can also use this procedure uh, with the uh, artificial slope uh, or earthworks and uh, please if you are interested in applying this procedure or sharing uh, with other soil moisture data contact us to to work together and uh, i remember you here the the link for the for download the, the script thank you very much